गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हैविंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग कंबशन ऑफ पेट्रोल इन द लास्ट लेक्चर राइट हाउ द फ्यूअल कंबशन इन एस आई इंजिन टेक्स प्लेस दैट थिंग दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी टेकिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन गोइंग अहेड ओके वी विल सी द नॉकिंग इन एस आई इंजिन हॉट द नॉकिंग नॉकिंग इज द वन फिनोमिना राइट सी यू नो यू यू नॉक्स द डोर राइट दैट इज वॉट द नॉकिंग सिमिलरली सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ साउंड ओके द वे आर यू आर गेटिंग ऑयल आफ्टर नॉकिंग दिस डोर द सेम काइंड ऑफ साउंड इज कमिंग इन साइड द इंजिन राइट द एक्सपर्ट पर्सन कैन ओनली लिसन दिट साउंड राइट दिस दे कैन जज दिस साउंड यस द नॉकिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस ओके द साउंड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द इंजिन वाई दिस साउंड इज कमिंग हाउ इट इज कमिंग वॉट दिस फिनोमिना इज हाउ टू रेड्यूस दिस एंड एनी Uh, any disadvantages with this advantages with this that thing uh, there are uh, yes there are definitely disadvantages this knocking because this is a very dangerous phenomena in the engine uh, that thing in, in detail we will see in the today's class that is knocking in petrol engine see the same thing in ci engine also that is uh, compression ignition engine that is diesel engine right the same thing happens but there the um, the the different term is used that is what the detonation right detonation means like explosion how the explosion things are happening that is what the de detonation is we will discuss knocking and detonation both men are same okay these words are interchangeably used so you need not worry about whether they say knocking or detonation generally uh, in practice if you talk about the ci engine then you will right ci means diesel engine then you talk about the detonation and the same thing here the knocking in a si engine right okay uh, 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 those who are not subscribed to the channel please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel okay we will continue now then let me put the heading that is knocking in petrol engine knocking knocking in petrol engine petrol means si engine right spark ignition si means spark ignition petrol engine uh, uh, before uh, see uh, have you heard about this uh, see in the uh, the explosions or the pataka you are taking in your diwali period right that the same thing in knocking is same thing is happening here also here the pressure is increases right the whatever the explosions okay in the pataka how this Due to increase in the pressure, right? Why the why this pataka will keep uh, uh, will give us the noise because the the, the, the uh, atmospheric pressure is one atmospheric pressure, right? And inside when the fuel temperature rises, fuel means the explosion inside this, right? That is what the in the pataka it contains, right? So once it explodes, okay, high pressure and high temperature energy is released, and and that. it the energy gets converted that energy into sound energy right and it will hits our air drum right this is what the happening in the uh, our pataka the same thing here in the knocking the phenomena is you can assume it similar like this right so the knocking <clears throat> this is how the knocking see here uh, here suppose this is what the okay uh, the explosions i am taking this is my explosion okay whenever i start burning this explosion right uh, you might have known this sutri bomb is looks like this also right so when i start this uh, to burn here okay it will go up to here and it will there will be sudden explosion will takes place like this right like this the explosion will happen right the, the the see what this explosion means that see the pressure waves again here the pressure waves comes in picture right in the, in the pressure waves radiation right the pressure waves propagate in the medium in the air medium right and that waves hits our air drum so that our we will we will listen that sound right that is the explosion of the fuel similarly you see here the energy transfer right energy transfer takes place in two forms right so how the energy is transferring here energy transfer energy transfer energy transfer in the two forms that is the radiation right the first is radiation means 
the energy travel in the form of electromagnetic waves right and the other one is the pressure wave pressure wave right these two forms of energy is transferred see the for the radiation the only the high temperature is required to this is what one kind of mode of heat transfer as we discussed right in our earlier classes right and pressure wave in see you know in the radiation how this happens radiation means the waves are traveling right see waves traveling means the electromagnetic waves are traveling in the with very high speed right and this is how in when the temperature rises right the radiation when there is a high temperature the radiation will is the predominant phenomenon of mode of heat transfer right what this radiation means the energy transfer takes place from one place to other place right in the form of electromagnetic waves waves means these are the which are the particles which are traveling right without see for the radiation uh, how we are getting the warm from the sun see sun is around thousands of kilometers away from us right i think it's around 3 lakh kilometers away from the earth but even though we are uh, we are feeling the warm warm of warmth of the sun how is there any medium okay the, yes there is will not be any medium while traveling it travels only in the form of electromagnetic waves yes there is a medium uh, in the atmosphere but atmosphere is up to i think stratosphere is up to 11 kilometers only right Be beyond that there will not be any medium okay the totally there is in the space there is a vacuum but even though that travels because the electromagnetic waves are this is how the energy tra energy travels right so we can feel we can take the warmth of the sun right so this is what one form of transfer of this energy that is the radiation the other is the pressure wave see the pressure wave means what happen the density of the air so okay see uh, i will give you an example how the pressure wave okay the how the density increases and because of the density the waves are pressure waves are created uh, that thing i will explain you see while uh, traveling in any bus if there is a lot of uh, the, the if density there is a lot of uh, passengers right so there will be, if there is a more crowd the density will be more right like that the, there will be a more pressure right so similarly here also while traveling for a small volume right the, the number of particles accumulate will be more right see here suppose uh, this is what the <coughs> the particles of the air right traveling here okay see here like this the pressure wave will be traveled okay see yeah. one particle is stagnant here okay what happen when explosion takes place explosion taking place means energy transferring from one form to one see this is what the kinetic energy right means the you you with bare eyes you can't see this kinetic energy right the, because at the atomic level these particles are very small you can't see this but in actually what happening this this in a small volume a large amount of particles are colliding with each other and in the collision they create the lot of sounds also right so that kinetic energy is converted into sound energy right means here the density see how it is traveling the density will increase pressure increases right see as the density increases the pressure will increase you know pv is equal to for ideal gas pv is equal to mrt right so i can write p is equal to rho rt also see in the in the lhs that is in left hand term rho rt is coming rho means the density if the density increases automatically in the right hand term there is a pressure only right pressure has to increase so this is how the pressure and temperature increases because of this pressure wave right you understood okay now come to our main topic that is what in the today's that is the knocking see the similar kind of this what now we have discussed the knocking phenomena is similar like this see here let me draw a cylinder so that you will understand this very clearly you will get a good picture about this this is a cylinder and piston right so this is the connecting rod this is how this is rotating in a circular fashion 
uh, see here this is what the clearance volume inside the cylinder okay now my fuel particles are fuel and air means the mixture of the fuel or air is coming inside this okay here the spark plug is sitting here so when the spark ignites what happens uh, the vicinity of the particles burn first right then the flame propagation will takes place right see this particles see uh, when this vicinity of the particle burns uh, do see the, the mode of the heat transfer is the radiation and pressure waves right the whatever the due to radiation the heat transfer high temperature this high temperature heat this a top surface of the piston and it the temperature of this top surface will be increases right so this is how the waves are traveling right so see this, these are the pressure waves like this the flame is happening okay and because of this radiation radiation when occurs when there is a temperature there is a high temperature right that time the radiation means the traveling of the electromagnetic wave starts and it hits to this top of the piston surface and this piston surface become too much hot right and hot happen see here this is the cylinder right i will just i will increase the clearance volume so that we will understand it we will get the better idea about that right so here right this is how the piston is right reciprocating and here see here the particles let me draw the fuel particles in red so that we will understand right here spark plug is here right so see when the electromagnetic waves travels it hits the piston surface then what happen if this piston is like see if the wave front is have uh, if the combustion is taking like this fashion then no problem there will not be any locking in the engine but suppose to, due to increase there is a end because of this end charges here end charge means on the surface of the piston uh, uh, there is a some local hot spots spots are created because of this heat transfer through the radiation and then what happen there will be a auto ignition will takes place here also right means the again there is a different wave fronts are created from this piston okay and when these two pressure waves which are coming from the uh, created by this spark plug coming from the top and the waves which are going up from this piston top end these collides over each here either and there is a tremendous amount of energy is released right when the two pressure waves collides right please understand very carefully else you will not get it anywhere like like this explanation so whenever the, the collision of these two pressure waves takes place a lot of temperature increases because of increase in temperature pressure rises right so what the temperature is temperature means the kinetic energy of the particles that is what the temperature right so because of this kinetic energy the pressure you know what the pressure is pressure means the, uh, the the collision of the particles normal to the surface that is what the pressure means if the kinetic temperature is more then automatically the pressure will increases right and there will be a sound is coming like pinging right you know how the pinging sound is coming the similar like here hammering or pinging that kind of sound that is what this knocking so the knocking phenomena is also called as pinging or a hammering the both it is called right you understood i think so this is what because of this pressure waves rise the energy <coughs> the energy release so the knocking is also called as knocking is also called as pinging pinging or hammering right any doubt up till now what i have discussed here? okay knocking you understood this the phenomena that is pinging knocking or the hammering the, the, all three phenomena having the same name and this occurs in si engine right so please what we have discussed uh, okay i have explained please take a notes of that so that 
you will don't forget that that what is the knocking you know c k and g knocking knocking when a fuel particle burns when fuel particle burns when fuel particle burns energy is released energy is released and this energy and this energy gets dissipated right dissipated means spreaded this energy will get dissipated dissipated in all direction in all direction in the form of radiation in the form of in the form of radiation right which is a predominant mode of heat transfer in the form of radiation and pressure waves also there are pressure waves right pressure waves see these are the two modes of heat transfer pressure wave is totally different and radiation is totally different why the pressure waves because of the density increases right and radiation is the traveling of electromagnetic waves right that is how the heat transfer takes place see the radiation directly heats to the uh, top surface of the piston right okay pressure waves this radiation and pressure waves these radiation and pressure waves waves while traveling while traveling while traveling generally compresses right means density increases generally compresses compresses fuel and air particles fuel and air particles coming in the way coming in the way okay and in this process temperature of the air fuel particle increases and in this process and in this process in this process temperature temperature of air and fuel particles increases right while energy getting dissipated energy getting dissipated okay this is how the knocking phenomena uh, occurs right you understood see the fuel particles in the vicinity of the piston absorb some energy right the extra energy from high temperature piston surfaces due to this temperature of these fuel particles increases and some k uh, and some cases it might increases beyond that of ignition temperature right so see the actual knocking phenomena where occurs the auto at some places on the surface of the piston right or on the exhaust valve also the temperature of that component increases beyond uh, the auto ignition temperature of the petrol right you know the auto ignition te uh, ignition temperature of the petrol is around 3 around 3 330 degrees centigrade like this right 330 or 350 degree exactly the correct figure i don't know uh, but if it increases at certain spots okay then what happen the, there will be the auto ignition starts right so 
the the play the waves coming from this uh, spark spark ignition place and this okay the two waves are collide with each other and there will be a phenomena okay and the, the sound will be created right and that sound is called the knocking right so please take this also the fuel particles the fuel particles on in the vicinity in the vicinity vicinity means near in the vicinity of piston absorb some energy absorbs some energy right from high temperature piston surface from high temperature piston surface due to this temperature due to this temperature of these fuel particles of these fuel particles of these fuel particles of these fuel particles increases right right of these fuel particles let me erase this because my pen is not working properly okay 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 uh, due to the fuel particle due to this fuel particles increases temperature of fuel particle increases and in the some cases it might increases beyond and in some cases this is what the key point for this knocking okay and in the some cases it might increases it might in this beyond beyond auto ignition temperature auto ignition temperature of fuel right which leads the knocking phenomena in this case combustion also start in this case in this case combustion also starts combustion also starts in this case combustion also starts from these fuel particles from these fuel particles from these fuel particles and the second and second and second wave front or oh, sorry flame front second flame front is also flame front is also created in the cylinder is also created in the cylinder right what the flame front i already explained in the last class right in the cylinder and this this flame front will travel upwards right this flame front will travel will travel upwards right this flame front travel upwards okay and when the two when the these two flame fronts that is primary and secondary when when these two flame fronts when these two flame fronts when these two flame fronts meet the rate of burning of fuel the rate of burning of fuel 
doubles right so the rate of the burning fuel doubles right and due to this the intensity and the pressure wave increases right due to this intensity of pressure waves intensity of pressure waves increases and if the intensity of the pressure wave increases and the cylinder component experience severe pressure right and cylinder component experience severe pressure right inside the cylinder inside cylinder this phenomena this phenomenon where where two flame fronts two flame fronts meet meet and the energy dissipated and the energy dissipated is of higher intensity is of higher intensity is called is called knocking or pinging okay you understood what the knocking and and what happens due to knocking there is a high intensity of pressure which strike the components right and if the components have does not that much strength to absorb that shock then they might fail right so the knocking this is what about the knocking uh, I, I on the p theta diagram i will explain where this knocking will take place generally this is a theta okay and this is pressure see when this is what the motoring curve just now we have seen in the last class right and when there is a combustion takes place right so the energy will be released see the knocking is this is what here at this place there will be the knocking okay this is the this is knocking means in before prior uh, after power stroke the knocking will be happen right this is the place where the knocking will takes place knocking will takes place right you understood okay then this is what all about the knocking of ic engine i think you guys understood this uh, uh, if you understood then don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe the channel uh, in the in the next class what we will do we will see what are the causes of this knocking okay there are many parameters which are responsible for this knocking in detail one by one we will discuss it in the next class all right okay okay guys uh, then uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, you people are giving me too much support keep the support this okay and watch all the my lectures and you have a good preparation for the gate so that you will get a good score and okay this is what all about in the today's class uh, with this we will stop for the today's class thanks for watching and uh, bye see you have a nice day